Coast Fangirl Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are continuing with Moon Knight episode uh, 4, The Tomb. Now, last episode we were left on like sort of a cliffhanger, not the very end, but the fact that um, Mark did fall unconscious and Khonshu has been turned to stone. Um, and what else? What else happened? I'm trying to remember. It's been a week. It's been a very busy week since last Wednesday. Um, or last Thursday, sorry. Um, hmm, yeah, I can't remember, sorry. But you know what I mean. It's, it was a good episode though. I really enjoyed last episode. Also, I just wanted to say I did get my hair done, so I will look a little bit different today. Um, I got this thing called keratin treatment, so it like, especially for women who are from my culture and even other cultures who just have like frizzy hair or like naturally frizzy hair, um, it sort of like stops you from doing that or like getting that sort of hair um, and comes out like nice like this. So um, I'm really happy about that just because honestly I won't lie, it's been a massive insecurity of mine on, especially when I'm filming just because my frizz is out of control and I can't control it. Like I'll do my hair nicely and it'll be fine when I look in the mirror and then I go back and look in the footage and my hair is just like and I'm just like holy crap dude like what do I do and my sister found this treatment which it worked for her and it lo she looks stunning with it. Um, my sister's just beautiful in general but like she looks really good with the treatment so she was like she recommended it to me I went and got it done my hairdresser was so sweet um, and yeah and now I look like this so I'm really happy about it um, but anyway enough of that I just thought I'd share that with you because that was like my my good thing of the week I have other good news but That'll come in my update video, which I will be filming tomorrow. Um, so just stay tuned for that because, yeah, it is a massive update, guys, and I want to let you guys in on that because, um, yeah, there's a lot of changes coming in the next few weeks. But anyway, um, let's jump straight into this episode of Moon Knight. I'm super excited. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Oh, shit. Hello? That's sort of- that- that's very creepy. The upside down movement? That looked weird as hell. Ooh. There are other gods there. Ooh, interesting. Cool, cool, cool. That is something I was questioning last episode. Um, if there are other gods like that. So yeah, that sort of answers my question. I will say that's funny, but also it's interesting so in terms of the DID perspective as well. I, I, I keep forgetting to bring that up, um, but I mean, like, it's interesting to see it from that perspective as well. Um, I, I don't personally, like, well, I mean, I've said this before, I don't personally have that, like, DID, but, like, I know a few people who do. Um, I can't give my opinion- I feel like I can't give too much of an opinion on it just because I don't have it, but, like, I feel like it must be so, like, not strange, because obviously, like, someone will obviously, like, learn to handle their DID in different ways, but it must be interesting to sort of have that sort of conversation sort of, like, on your own with- this other person and another identity like it must be really interesting but also terrifying like I, I don't know how to explain it but like yeah I don't know it's interesting the way that they're taking a hold of it in the show but anyway oh shit what? Oh my god. Oh. I'm trying to protect you from Konshu. That's why he's been pushing you away. He, he thinks Konshu wants you for his avatar. Oh. Oh shit. Steven. I don't need protection. What I need is honesty. Poor thing. Oh. 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 That. That. Uh, ah. I don't even know what that is, so don't worry, Steven. I mean, okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> it's really cute. Steven's really cute. Um, but also just, like, like, that's another thing. I'm going back to the DID thing, but, like, 
I've seen with different personalities that different personalities can be into different people. Um, so, for example, obviously Mark is into her, Layla, and even Steven is into Layla. Um, I think it's because, like, obviously, no, I think it must be strange for Steven because it must be, like, a mixture of what Mark's feeling, but also the affection he might have built up for her as well. Um, and I think Steven, to a certain degree, he's not in love with her. I think it's more that he feels sorry for her and does care for her, but um, I think it's more that he feels sorry for her. And, yeah, poor thing, like, you can see the pain in her eyes, like, there, when she's talking about it, like, um, like, when Steven... <laughs> told her that, you know, like, Mark was doing it to protect her from Konshu, and, you know, all she wants is for Mark to be honest with her, but he's not. And, you know, for Steven to do that, I think it's very, like, obviously, like, really affecting her a lot. Um, and, you know, I think with that kiss as well, it's not it's not sort of supposed to be romantic, it's more, like, reminiscent for her, I think, of what she had with Mark. So I think, like, a lot of people, I feel like, is going to be like, rah, 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 because the internet's like that. But I feel like it can be interpreted in different ways and I feel like that is what it is. It's more reminiscent than it is romantic and loving or sexual in any way. It's more just like she's reminiscing in that kiss and also Steven, I think Steven's doing it because he feels sorry for her in a way and cares for her but not in the same level that obviously Mark does. Mark loves her but he's... Mark's a little bit arrogant but also he's just like, he's not good at dealing with his... especially his own emotions. But yeah, anyway, we'll talk about it later. Let's continue with the episode. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> she's into it! But she's right, what were they shooting at? Is that blood? Ugh. Oh! Oh! Hello? Oh! To the people who were freaking complaining about this not being dark enough. Is this dark enough for you? Why is it making that noise? Oh god, is there gonna be one right there? Oh god, thank the lord. Ah! <laughs> oh, don't touch! Move your fucking head! Move your ass, girl! Come on! That was fucking insane. I loved that. That reminded me like so much of like Indiana Jones and all that shit. Oh my god. Really good, really good. Oh, you're okay, Layla. Oh. Uh, uh, mm? Has Ahmed got something to do with Layla? I feel like. She's connected to Armit um, somehow. Scene. Mark remembers everything that happened that day. Everyone who died. Oh wait, yeah. From the beginning of the couple of episodes ago. Leave her alone, dude. Um, but yeah, I don't know, like, I, f I know I said like I sounded like weird by saying like she might be Ahmet, but I don't know, she just seemed this like the actress is just so good, and like, it just seems there's so much more to her. Like, I feel it. Like, I don't know. 
Like, I feel like there's more to her that we don't know, so yeah, that's why. But, anyway. And Mark does need to open up to her. She deserves it. Ooh! Got it! Maybe he saw it happen? But you were there. Yeah. He was there. Didn't they say execution style? Was that the why he tried to divorce her and all this stuff? That's the reason that we met. Hmm? We just had a guilty conscience. Oh fuck. So this was all before. Oh my god! Don't! Don't! <laughs> no, Layla! Oh shit. Beautiful shot though. Hello? Oh, what, what? Why'd the screen change? Is this a movie? <laughs> oh shit, I think this is. Oh! <gasps> Wait, have they like created a place for people who have. Who are like, because that's that woman from before. This is very like utopian like, it's very creepy, I don't like it. Anything that looks this aesthetically clean, I'm just like, get away from me. I hate hospitals and stuff, so that's why. Bleh. <gasps> oh no. I am so fucking confused. What? The hell? What is going on? Has something happened to Steven? Please don't freaking tell me that this has all been a dream or something. Ooh, Ethan Hawke with a mustache, hello. <laughs> I'm so confused. What the hell is going on? I was about to say, it was interesting that there's a blur for his face. Are they on like a psychic plane or something? Is this like, yeah, I'm trying to think like, is, was everything a lie or was it like, is it just in his head? I'm trying to understand. Steven. Oh, okay, so, are they just trying to make him feel overwhelmed? It has to be something to do with the mind, right? Like they, in has, they've taken his mind or something? What? Mark? Oh, what the hell? They're separated. What? What? My brain is like, what the frick? Is this the third personality? That's the third one, I feel. They're just not showing it. Oh, shit. watch it okay so I just went through it again that whole just last part after he got shot okay so from what I'm guessing is that he's got some sort of like mind palace shit so it's like everything to he keeps talking about the
the psyche, he keeps talking about mental health, depression, anxiety, he keeps talking about all that. It's all about the mental stuff, so I'm thinking that he's taken, like, I don't know, because I feel like Mark, Stephen, and whoever the third personality is, is ve they're very powerful and not, and individually as they are as a whole. Um, and I feel like, and because they are part of one mind, so I feel like maybe he's not dead? I'm trying to think, because, I mean, he got shot twice, so he might be dead, but Haro has taken control of his mind so that he's not able to maybe go back into the body or, re like, somehow go go into the body somehow. Um, so I'm complete... Ugh, I'm confused. But I just know... I feel like Haro has controlled his mind and he's manipulating memories he's doing all that stuff because it like it would be i mean it would sort of be like shutter island like vibes if it, everything that happened previously was like a dream um which is sort of sad but at the same time shutter island was like one of the best films ever made with leonardo dicaprio so good but also heartbreaking um but going back to this um I feel like, yeah, everything that's happened previously is real, so I, I don't want, like, if people are on my channel and are gonna come into my comments and be like, everything was a dream! I don't think that is the case. I think they've taken, especially Harrow, because he has his powers, has con taken control of Steven, Marx, and the third personality's mind, and is trying to contain it so he doesn't escape from this sort of um, containment mind palace bullshit and is trying so that he doesn't go back either into the, their own body or escape into another body. Um, sort of like the whole deal with Konshu, like obviously using an avatar and using different bodies and stuff like it did with Haro. Um, so I don't think, especially because Konshu really believes in Steven and Mark and the third personality which still has remained unnamed named. Excuse me. Um, and so that's why I'm guessing it, it literally is like a mind palace and it's just really fucked up. So I'm thinking that's why there's so many things happening. It seems so confusing, which is what I like because it's sort of like a puzzle. You have to sort of unravel it. That whole thing with like Oscar Isaac being doubled, that was beautifully shot. Like I was so shocked by how good it looked. Cause usually scenes like that look really, really funny. And just yeah, again, like the body language, Oscar Isaac, mm, so good. And the woman who plays Layla, also fantastic. This episode, so so good. And I love her interaction with Mark and just talking about her father's death and you know her t trying to get closure for that. Cause obviously that is something that has been talked about from nearly the beginning. Um, and just, yeah, I, I, I loved this whole episode as a whole. It was so good. It had so many good drama points. It had some horror in it, which I love. And a lot of Indiana Jones moments as well, which I absolutely love. Really like it. And also Uncharted vibes, which I really like as a video gamer. Um, but really, really good. So, so good. Um, but again, going back to that ending, um, I'm guessing whoever was in that third well, what's it called? It's a coffin, but also it's like sarcophagi or something? I don't know, I can't remember what it's called. But like in that thing, I think that's the third personality, but they're just not showing it yet. Um, and I feel like the third personality, I feel like is going to come in handy in the next few episodes. Maybe in the next one, um, in episode five, when, it, like, when that comes out next week. Um, so that's going to be very interesting to see sort of what happens in that particular episode. Because yeah, again, with that whole like sort of like this containment sort of mind palace that I'm talking about. He's taken Layla's in there, so I'm th I feel like he's just manipulating memories and different people in this situation to m confuse him, because that's why I was like, oh my god, if this is all a dream, this is like bullshit. Um, but at the same time, like, it's like really convincing. It makes you confused. I love that. They've done that a lot, where they put you in the same seat that like the protagonist is in or well anti-hero protagonist is in so that's what I love like we're so confused and they're confused so it's like we're like both the character and us are sort of on the same page I love that so much yeah again mind palace stuff yeah I feel like it's just supposed to be very off-putting very confusing and just yeah I'm I guess we're gonna see more of it in the next episode um, I wonder who that hippo is because I'm so confused by that, but I feel like it has some sort of importance and we might find out more about it next episode. I'm just like, uh, my brain's just sort of like, what the f- 
like is going on. So yeah, but honestly, a great episode. Really, really good. Really enjoyed it overall. Um, had great action, etc. And it, it keeps leaving me wanting more and very, very confused. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of Moon Knight, episode four, The Tomb. A great episode that I absolutely enjoyed, but I'm fucking confused and I want the next episode already. I mean, this is why, like with shows like this, especially this one, out of all the Marvel shows, I think apart from WandaVision, I think this is like the closest thing to what we had with WandaVision where every week we're all just like, what the frick is going on? Like we're so confused, we're making the theories up. Not as much as WandaVision. WandaVision was like theory bowl. Like that was like every week everybody was making theories, including myself. Um, but it's not as much as this. I feel like with this episode people are gonna start making theories and being like, what the frick is going on here? Anyway, um, that's enough for now, because <laughs> otherwise I'll keep going. Um, but yeah, great, and I cannot wait for the next episode. Like, god damn. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Crazy Bingo, out.